Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Today's vlog includes some Arabic dishes. When I had posted chicken mandi last Ramadan, got lots and lots of lovely reviews from you all, and I still get comments on that. But since it was done in oven, many of you wanted a version without oven. So finally, here's a video for that which came out successful on the stove top. And another recipe suggested by my very dear friend Raba, who is from Jordan. and it tastes really delicious it's called lahm be ajin i hope i'm pronouncing it right she had in fact sent me an audio to pronounce it so keep watching i had prepared mandi for dinner and began preparation evening time it was drizzling and the weather was really beautiful it's been really hot these days and watching light rain felt good Kids online classes had started 2 days back and it starts after lunch time so that's when i began for dinner now the procedure and ingredients everything is the same instead of asking you to check out that video i thought i'll show it again in this video so it's easy for you all first of all you'll need to make a spice mix that you can store for many months i would say at least 3 to 4 months you need just a teaspoon of this for the mandi so the rest you need to store in an airtight jar 2 tablespoons of whole coriander seeds a piece of cinnamon stick the cumin seeds were over in the jar if you had seen the onam vlog you would have understood why we use cumin seeds for almost all the dishes So you need one tablespoon of cumin seeds. One teaspoon cloves. One tablespoon cardamom pods. Now this is dry lemon. Many of you wanted to know the substitute for this. I think there is no substitute for dry lemon. and you can't replace it with fresh lemon or lime you need to compulsorily use this for the authentic arabic flavor this can be found in any middle eastern store wherever you stay you need one dry lemon and crush to remove the seeds in it or else it can taste bitter so don't forget this step now roast this on low medium flame for 5 to 6 minutes While still warm, grind the spices. This is the one that I already had. When the ground mix cools down, add to the glass jar. To this, add one teaspoon turmeric powder. Shake, and you get it done. You can use a whole chicken cut in half. Here I already had large pieces. This is 1 kg chicken pieces. Add a pinch of saffron which is optional. Then goes a teaspoon of the spice mix. 1/2 teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 3 tablespoon oil. I use sunflower oil. You may even use olive oil. Rub well onto the chicken pieces. Place in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or until needed. Now for the rice, I took two and a half cups basmati rice, just enough for dinner. Wash the rice well and drain. You may soak or not; it doesn't matter. Then slice two medium onions. Okay. 
heat some oil, olive oil or sunflower oil. Fry the onions till golden brown. Now I'm preparing the rice in the same pot. You may transfer to the pot you're planning to cook in. To this add a small piece cinnamon stick, 5 cardamom pods, 6 cloves, 2.5 teaspoons salt, a handful of golden raisins. Add the rice, just a mix. Then I added 4.5 cups hot water. Mix well. Now this is in fact my steamer. So I am placing the steaming pot on top. Place the chicken pieces in it. Try not to overlap. Place on medium heat for 2 minutes and then reduce the flame to the minimum or the least flame till the rice is cooked. It took around 7 to 8 minutes for me. Now if you don't have a steamer, you may take a heavy bottom pot and place an old colander on top. I had prepared 2 times this way and it came out well. But make sure the steam doesn't go through the sides and cover it completely. After at least 5 minutes, just check if the water has completely absorbed. If not, place it back. Otherwise, give a mix to the rice with a fork. Cover and keep aside. Now the chicken might have not cooked completely like how it gets cooked when prepared in oven. So you need to cook more. You can use an air fryer, but I am shallow frying in little oil. The chicken is completely cooked. Place each piece on top of the rice. Make a small bowl shape with aluminium foil. Place inside the pot, add a very hot charcoal in it. I use the leftover oil after frying. You can see the smoke coming, cover immediately. Lock the smoke inside and don't let it escape. Arman's class was over and it was Rehan's last period. I had gone gym by this time and came back after one and a half hours. That's the allowed time in gym as per safety guidelines. It's always better to make kids revise the same whatever taken in the class on the same day. I feel the burden reduces. Any homework, I make them finish before dinner. Yeah.
I had left the dishes in the sink as such as I was getting late for gym. I didn't even get time to load the dishwasher. Now a salad which is my favorite, the tabole. You need bulgur or the broken wheat. I took quarter cup and soak in hot water. Now you need parsley for this. Do not replace coriander leaves instead of parsley. The taste is entirely different. In look wise, parsley is almost similar to coriander leaves, but you cannot substitute it. Wash the parsley well and chop. You may use a food processor for this. I love to chop on the cutting board. Cleaning a cutting board is easier than the processor. Add the chopped parsley into a mixing bowl. Now squeeze out the water completely from the broken wheat and add to the parsley. You may even use a cloth for this. You can even add one spring onion mint leaves to the salad. I made with what I had. Adding one chopped cucumber. One tomato. Remove the seeds in it and chop it into small pieces. Add salt. Squeeze lemon, almost 2 tablespoons lemon juice. Then some olive oil. Mix well and the salad is ready. Time to serve the rice. Take out the charcoal and serve. Always use a fork to mix the rice. You can garnish with fried onions and cashews. I used only chopped coriander leaves. Now for the salsa or the chutney for the mandi, blend 3 to 4 green chilies, one small tomato, few coriander leaves, vinegar and salt. And that's our dinner. I like to eat the salad with lettuce. Wrap some of the salad in the lettuce leaf so you get the salad with a crunch. After all the cleaning works, I took out minced meat from the freezer so that it's easy in the morning. Rihan's fitness class has started on this day and it's at 6 in the morning. For the breakfast dish suggested by my dear friend Rabba, you need to first prepare a dough. In 2 cups lukewarm water, add 2 teaspoon yeast, 2 teaspoon sugar and some salt. Mix and keep aside.
You may use a stand mixer or you can even knead it manually in a mixing bowl. Add three and a half cups all-purpose flour. To this goes half cup milk powder, half cup oil, add the yeast mix and make it to a soft dough. I added half more cup of flour, so on a total I took 4 cups flour. Just knead for a minute to bring it together and leave it for rising. I left it for 1 hour. Now since many might not prefer meat in the morning, I would suggest to use eggplant chopped into small pieces. I think that's a good option. And along with that, you can use the same mix. Using a processor, add one small onion, one tomato and some coriander leaves. Instead of this, you can chop into very small pieces. I won't suggest a mixer grinder as it can go watery. Now as I said, instead of keema, you may use eggplant or the brinjal too. To this goes a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of red chilli powder, dried parsley or fresh if you have, some black pepper crushed, salt, mix everything very well and keep aside. Now make small balls from the dough. Just covering so that it doesn't dry. Roll each to a medium size. Now instead of making small bowls, you can use a large size, it's up to you. Preheat your oven at 160 degrees Celsius. Place these on the baking tray lined with baking paper. Spread the meat mix on top. I actually added a lot in the first batch and ended up having very little for the next. So it's up to you how much mix you want on top. Bake till the dough is brown in color. That's how much time you need to cook and you need to switch on the top flame too. For me, this took almost 15 to 17 minutes. And don't worry, since the meat is minced, it will be cooked by this time. My husband was getting late for office, so served him early. This was quite filling, so the leftover we had along with our evening tea. And that's for today's vlog. As I always say, don't forget to try the recipes and send me your pictures and feedback through email or Instagram. You may even pass in your valuable comments below. If you have enjoyed watching today's video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't. See you soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.